Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a hot second since you've seen me, um, but I just am dumbfounded and excited to make this video today because we got some big news from the book to movie adaptation world. Um, because Variety.com, which is a entertainment news source, um, just announced that Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros um, has been picked up by Amazon as a series. So I think the best way to talk about this is to go through the, art the article here, and I will link it in the description as well, and just kind of give my thoughts um about what i'm reading here um and yeah i'm very excited uh fourth wing is my favorite book of the year so far i do have a reading blog for it i will also link that in the description um but it was a book that took the internet by storm um and it reached audiences outside of the book world um mostly because of tiktok and word of mouth um and I'm actually in my middle, in the middle of my reread of it because I'm actually attending the midnight release party for Iron Flame tomorrow at my local Psychic and Charles. And I will definitely be vlogging that experience. But yeah, Iron Flame comes out in two days. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm behind on my reread, but I'm so excited to read that book. Like, y'all have no idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just jump into this article because it has some very interesting information here. And I'm just excited to talk about it with you guys. So I'm just going to read it out loud and let's just go from there. So it says, a fourth wing TV show based on Rebecca Yaros' best-selling fantasy book series is in the works at Amazon MGM Studios. This is also the same studios, I believe, as the From Blood and Ash um, adaptation is being, uh, is being worked on, um, which is another series I'm very excited about. Um, Amazon and Michael B. Jordan's Outlier Society. So Michael B. Jordan has this production company that uh, is, you know, running the whole show here, um, which has an overall deal of the studio, have acquired the rights to not only Fourth Wing, but follow-up Iron Flame, which will be released November 7th, and the three remaining planned books in Yaros' Fourth Wing universe, the Empyrean book series from Entangled Publishing. So they have the rights to the entire series. So not just Fourth Wing, not just Iron Flame, but books three, four, and five, because this is a five book series. And there's a lot of story here, and I'm excited that they're planning for the future. Um, and, you know, just, it's very early on, but I do think that the popularity of Fourth Wing is going to um make this a very fast production um hopefully not too fast because um we don't want a rushed adaptation there's nothing worse than getting a horrible adaptation Yaros is a non-writing executive producer on the fourth wing tv series alongside liz pelletier pelletier for integral publishing liz rapasso is executive producing for outlier so rebecca Yaros is a producer on the show which is fantastic so basically that means that she does have say on the creative choices that go on in this show um so she's there as a source for them hopefully they utilize her to the best of their abilities um and she's there to give her input which is obviously important because this is her story and her vision is important so i hope they do listen to what she has to say because this is her story and there's no one else that's going to understand this source material better than her obviously um but hopefully i hope because going to akatar for a second so hulu is still apparently in production or in pre-production of the akatar tv show and some things that we've heard rumors have been that Sarah J. Mass has been a tyrant in the writing room. Um, and I think it's because they're wanting to do some 
crazy stuff to these character with these characters that's out of character and hopefully we're not going to get to that type of commentary coming out of the the writing room or from the production of this show because we don't want it to have a bad reputation i just hope i think rebecca understands that things are going to have to be changed and i think as fans we have to realize things some things just don't translate well to screen. They just don't. But my only, my counter argument here is that I think this book was written to be adapted. You can't tell me otherwise. This almost feels almost like, um, like Hunger Games-esque in the sense that I think the reason why the Hunger Games movies are so brilliant and are so impeccably done is because the books read almost like a script. It's a, in, cut, how do I say this? So you have your characters, you have your setting, you have your plot. And the way that I, I perceive the Hunger Games books, the way Susan Collins wrote them is, you know, we have dialogue that's written and delivered like a script. We have descriptions of what's going on, of the world and everything going on, written like a script. It's not overly descriptive. It's not overly complicated. It's just what it is. It's straightforward. And I do think Fourth Wing is written in that same style. So I think this will be a somewhat, um, it, this can be adapted flawlessly in my opinion. Um, I know some people might disagree with that, but I think this will be pretty easy to adapt. Um, but anyway, let's just continue with this. Um, there are no details regarding writers or casting or anything like that because this is a brand new, um, a brand new development for us and for them. So they haven't completely gone full speed ahead just yet. Um, per the official logline for the Fourth Wing TV series. Enter the brutal world at Basgeth War College, where there is only one rule, graduate or die. 20-year-old Violet Sorengill expected to live a quiet life among books in history. Now, the commanding general, her tough as Talon's mother, has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of candidates striving to become the elite of Navarre, Dragon Riders. If the fire-breathing beasts don't kill her, one of her fellow riders just might. Suspense? Action, romance, and dragons blend together in a popu excuse me, pro propulsive, gosh, English, fantasy adventure from New York Times bestselling author Rebecca Yaros. Fourth Wing debuted May 2nd and quickly gained immense popularity on TikTok, 1 billion views to date across all related hashtags. It subsequently skyrocketed onto the New York Times bestseller list, staying there for 25 weeks and spending 13 of those at number one. Yaros is read by, we don't need to know that, but so basically that's, that's it. So we don't have a ton of information, but this is very exciting. And people have been asking me because I'm very vocal about my love of fourth wing on my Instagram. Um, I know it has a lot of haters and I know that a majority of people on YouTube are making videos about how much they hate it, um, which is a whole other thing for me. Um, but I do think it's a wonderful story. And people keep asking me on my Instagram, do I have a fan casting? Because casting, here's the thing, casting is gonna be everything. It's gonna make or break this show. It is, it's the same for Avatar. It's gonna be the same with From Blood and Ash. These characters live in our heads, in our hearts. They're very real to us. We have very strong opinions about these characters. And so, Casting is going to be everything, and I think everyone just needs to be prepared that there's potential to, at first, not like the casting, because there's been a lot of times where casting has been hated on, and then it turns out to be wonderful. Um, Heath Ledger is a very famous example of this, when he was cast as the Joker for the Dark Knight film. Um, he got shit on completely and he won an Oscar, and Dark Knight is considered to be one of the best comic book movies of all time, and that's mostly because of Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker. And again, Jennifer Lawrence, when she was cast as Katniss Everdeen, she was criticized because people didn't think she looked like Katniss or that she didn't have the right 
um, uh, the bright aspects of Katniss's character, but then she stole our hearts with the Hunger Games films, and she was absolutely incredible in those movies. So I think we just have to be open-minded about what they plan to do with this with this series. I, I'll be honest, because Fourth Wing has become one of my favorite books of all time. Um, it's a it's just such a good story and I love Violet and I love Zayden. Zayden isn't Zayden is going that casting will be very 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 difficult for them and let's just let me just talk about something for a second because there's been a lot of people a lot of fan castings and I hate fan castings I'm sorry if you like them but I can't stand them because some people just don't understand what um haven't paid attention to what the author has described in her books but Zayden's not a white guy so can we please stop whitewashing him and it's not entirely um described what he is or like what nationality he's more like I get a more like Latino vibe personally which I'm not mad at um but it, that doesn't matter though. I think it's just important to note that he's not a white guy and that we have to have a person of color. Um, and Rebecca Yaros has talked about this multiple times that he is a person of color. So let's just not debate that at all. Um, and Violet is also going to be an incredibly important casting choice. Um, I want everyone to be unknown. I don't want any actors I've, I've heard of to be in this series. I just, I don't, because here's the thing. Like, Beauty and the Beast, the live action film, we had Emma Watson as Belle. And I didn't really love Beauty, the Beauty and the Beast live action film. I'll just be honest about that. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that Emma Watson was Belle. And I just, Emma Watson will always be Hermione Granger to me. I can't see her as anything else. It's awful, and I, and I know I'm not the only person that has that issue, and I know that's something that's going to haunt her for the rest of her life. But it's true. She will always be Hermione Granger, and anytime I see her in a film, I'm watching Hermione Granger. I hate that for her, and I, honestly, I'm not happy that I do this, but I don't want this to happen with a series that's based off of one of my favorite books. I want to be able to look at these characters and see my favorite characters come to life so anyway i think that's all i'm going to talk about right now um i'll try i'll probably make some more develop of uh, some more videos as things develop more but i'm very interested to know what you guys think about um them adapting fourth wing do you think it's going to be interesting do you think it's going to be fun are you scared um i ha i'm a very mixed bag of emotions i'm very excited because i love adaptations um but i'm also like i'm a shadow hunter fan and we've gotten some very horrible uh adaptations so i'm very well aware that this could be a disaster but i'm hoping with rebecca on board it's going to be wonderful and i hope it's successful because i would love to see this whole thing adapted um and I'm very excited to see what the future holds with the Empyrean series and the Fourth Wing TV show. So let me know below what you guys think and follow my Instagram for more bookish content and be looking out for um, my Iron Flame reading vlog that will be coming um, at least within the next month whenever I can get around to actually reading it because I'm still in the middle of my reread of a Fourth Wing. So hopefully I can get this done very soon so I can start that book. But anyway, I miss you guys a lot, and I hope I'm able to make more content for you soon. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!